Hey, it's me, Pro Jared, and this is Magic the Gathering Chandelar Updated Edition. No longer are we confined to the vintage cards of the like, fourth edition and earlier. We've greatly expanded it thanks to the use of some dedicated fans and some mods to include way more cards and update the rules. I am incredibly, incredibly excited for this. Uh, I wanted to give a quick thanks to um, Arcane Fate, who actually hooked me up with this file because I had such a pain trying to find it at all. Uh, you guys might remember the Chandelar games. I've already played through it as is, which one of my favorite playthroughs on this channel. Feel free to check it out. I also did a Pro Jared video on this Magic the Gathering game, but I've not played the updated edition. So we're going to be playing with cards from all the way from the old set all the way up until like 2016 or so. And what's fun about that is uh, I didn't play Magic from 2004 to 2014, which means there is a decade worth of cards that I don't know. <laughs> um, so if you haven't seen this before, I do recommend you check out my previous Chandelar playthrough just because it's super fun and super entertaining. And uh, a lot of people have told me it's one of their favorite playthroughs of all time. And um, I probably won't spend as much time explaining as much magic mechanics in this playthrough. I'll assume most of you already know how to play. Um, I'll go over some basics just in case for some new players. Uh, let's choose my beginning deck color. I'm going to stick with blue. Um, but for the record, there is some jankiness in the way I have to record this. So there's going to be some weird window action, some weird full screen stuff on and off. Um, I apologize for that. Uh, that's just, just because of the way the game works. Uh, the, like, it, it, like, it displays itself in a series of different windows, and there's no real good way to, um, record all of them, uh, all at once and have it make sense. I'm just making my guy real quick. Um, let's give her that eye patch. I'm just holding a bottle axe, a battle axe and a, a potion bottle. Cool. Sounds good to me. All right, that's me. That's that's the guy I made. Not bad, right? Uh, into your name, Rogerd. Shed a lot, materializing, and boops. I've never seen, seen this game before. It is a Magic the Gathering RPG in which you explore the entire world, defeat the five wizards of different colors, go to villages, get quests for card rewards, uh, increase your life pool, your library size, uh, go through dungeons, etc., etc. One of my favorite playthroughs. Um. First thing first, we need to check out my deck. Uh, so I chose blue. <laughs> Look at these cards. Uh, all right, so planes, wall of resistance from Mirage. Okay, trained Karkle from, uh, uh, I, I don't even remember. I kind of recognize it. Is that one of the Ravnica's? Damn. Uh, of course, a 2011 Squadron Hawk. Dollar Shield Bearers, no idea on that one. Pearl Unicorn, okay, from Alpha, I know that one. Like Geist from Innistrad. Gavernry Iron Right, no idea. Errant Doomsayer, there's a lot of white in here. From Time Spiral, that's fun. Inviolability from Mercadian Masks. Oh, oh, it's Pacifism. Oh, no, Prevent All Names Should Be Dealt To It. Oh, that's awesome. Seven Islands, I got like, a, I'm starting off like a blue white deck, it looks like. Zephyd from Urza's. One of the Urza's. Legacy. 3-4 Flying Shroud. Okay. Uh, Thriving Turtle from Amon Kit! <laughs> oh, they have energy and everything in here. This is amazing. Uh, Teller Tales from Kamigawa. Scrapskin Drake. No idea. Oh, one of the Innistrads, right? Uh, Silent Observer from Shadows of Innistrad. Kavokian Misk from Cold Snap. Kingfisher from... <sighs> Don't remember. Uh, uh, I know Onslaught, I'm gonna say. Maybe. Even Fisher, Fleeting Memories. Oh, and Fleeting Memories. Oh, Investigate, get some clues? Hell yeah. Essence Flare <laughs> from Ice Age. Oh my god, this is amazing. Uh, the lands are old. Bright Hearth Banneret. No idea what that is. That's set at least. Nima Silt Lurker. 4 and 1 green for a 3 5. Ugh. That's nowhere near as good as 4 and 2 green for 6 4 craw worm. Grazing Kelpie? It's a blue green. Rattle based scarecrow. I got two different scarecrows, are you kidding me? Easter glider. Okay. 
Uh, Shuko. Chimeric Spear, Oshmods, Transmorgra. Uh, all right, that's my deck, I guess. That's what I'm going with. Quest. Uh, take this message south to my brother in Shalecliff Glade. He'll give you a mana link. Mana links are good because that allows, that increases my maximum life by one. So. So I need to go south to Mana Link Gale, which is. Or Shalecliff Glade, which is right there. But first, this blue person wants to fight. Okay. Now, because this is Chandelar, antis are a thing, which means whoever wit loses has to give the other card to the other player. So I'm fighting for a flying men, and she's trying to take my Bright Hearth Banner. It. Let's go. First duel. Uh, you'll notice a few updated things, such as the um, backgrounds and graphics and all that. Um, so one of the things they did with this mod is actually updated the rule set so that's no longer just super old. For example, Mana Burn, no longer a thing. And I believe they've taken damage off the stack. I think. Uh, let's see, my hand is... Mountain Mountain, Island Swamp Forest, Moonlight Geist, and Errant Doomsayers. Well, I got all my colors, so I'll keep. I'm not super sure... I don't think they have got the newest... Uh, Mulligan rule set. Oh, I don't have a plans. That's probably not the best hand to keep, so now I can't cross cast any of these stuff. Ah. All right, so, basic, quick basic rundown of rules for those who don't know about Magic the Gathering. Uh, each, each player has a total life, as you can see on either side, and your goal is to just kill the other person by destroying them. Um, oh, I got the plans, good. The easiest explanation would be that um, on, you, you play creatures to attack each other with, uh, and that's what all of these things are with the numbers popping up. The number on the left is how much damage they do, and the number on the right is how much life they have. And a creature's life is restored at the end of the turn. So if you don't kill them all in a single turn, it um it like it doesn't count. Uh, undo, return two target creatures to their owner's hands. Uh, that sucks. That those were both my guys. Damn it! All right. Um, what does Essence Flare do? Attached creature gets plus two plus O oh, at the beginning of the upkeep. It gets a minus zero minus one counter. Okay, so it's like a pseudo unstable mutation, but not as good. Uh, I'm gonna keep with the Kingfisher because it's a two two flying, and if he dies, I get to draw a card, which I'd be happily trade some of these out of. Is that Quickling First Strike? No, it just says Flash. Okay, is that for Falcon? Back guys just get some more flyers. He's only played flyers so far. You can only block flying creatures with other flying creatures. Oh, he plays Triskillian, which is an artifact creature that comes with a bunch of counters, and it can remove counters to deal one damage to a target. And he just did that to kill my 2 1 flyer. That sucks. Okay. Um, Blaze Thorn Scarecrow. It's a 3 3. It has haste as long as you control a red creature. Nope. And it has wither. If you control a green creature, it deals damage in the form of minus one, minus one counters. That's really interesting. I don't have either of those, so I'd just be paying five mana for a 3-3. Three, three, and that's not very good. Um, I guess we'll just play the Doom Slayers, because I can use that to tap down some of his creatures. I could also use Essence Flare to uh, kill some of their guys. Not the best. It would temporarily pump them, but then they would start losing life per turn. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the Scarecrow. Yeah, he may really moves on a counter to shoot my Aaron Doom Slayers. Figured that would happen. Um, I might just die. Return all artifacts back to my hand. Look, it's a rare card. I might just... I'm, yeah, I'm just going to lose right away. You shot me? You dick. Uh, choose blockers. Let's see, I have five life. If I block here, I'll go down to one. And I'll probably die next turn, unless I somehow manage to pull out two blockers. If I block here, I'll go down to two. I would need to pop out two blockers to win, but that's a better shot than... Oh, these are both flyers, though. I don't have any other flyers. Ah, I guess there. Consider letting this die just so that I can draw a card. Trinket Mage, when it's the battlefield, you may search a library for an artifact card with mana cost. One or less? Do you have anything? Ornithopter! Son of a bitch! 
A zero two flyer. Well, I am. I'm dead. I uh, concede. Off to an awesome start. I am playing on the hardest difficulty. Well, that blows. Um, another thing is that at the beginning of the game, my deck sucks. Oh, here's an Eldritch Horror card. Or Eldritch Moon. Draw a card, then draw cards equal to the number of cards named. Take inventory in your graveyard. Uh, I only got the one, so I'd be paying two mana to draw one card. Not the best. So you'll find these little, like, um, locations around, like sunken ships, uh, mountains, forests, uh, graveyards. You can walk into them to find additional cards. So here's a counter spell. Counter target spell, unless it pays one for each artifact I control. If I had an artifact deck, maybe. I've got some artifacts, but enough. What's a black card? A snow covered swamp? Hell yeah, brother. That's a fancy looking town. Oh, here's a white card place. You happen upon a dragon's lair. You counter a whim dragon guarding a horde of valuable spells. I don't know what half of these are. I ain't by, but fighting a whim dragon right now, though. That's for fucking sure. I'm just gonna go to town. Excuse me, lady. Alright. I've established a mana link giving me plus one life. What do you have here for cards? Ninja of the Deep Hours? Ninjutsu, whenever it deals damage to a player, you may draw a card. I actually like that a lot. The ninjutsu cost is only two. I'd buy that. Um, I also need just basic lands a lot. So let's buy planes and the ninja. Um, I have a food counter down here, in case you're new to the game, where um, you need that to restore your life at the end of combat. And if you run out of food, you start moving super, super slow. And the goal of the game is to uh, defeat the five grand wizards representing each color before they can take over uh, three towns each. And once that happens, it's game over. They call it the Dominion thing on Chandelar. Uh, and for those of you who do play Magic, you actually might recognize the Chandelar setting from certain sets. Uh, a lot of the core sets took place on Chandelar, like core set uh, 2015 for sure. Um, what do I want here? I want my card. I kind of want to bring my deck down in size because I got a lot of garbage. Uh, what don't I need? I technically don't need mountains because I don't have any red creatures or black creatures for that matter. Put a planes in. Uh, I'm at seven, eleven, fourteen lands right now. Right now, that's not very good. Maybe I do want snowbird swamp could help. Ah, what's what's some garbage? Ashdosh. Transmorgant sacrifices to put a plus one plus one counter on a non artifact creature to make it into an artifact creature in addition to other creature types. That's not very exciting. This can become a 2 1 artifact creature flying or a 3 2 artifact creature that loses flying. I'll take him out. I'm spending a lot of mana on something that's not great. I think I take out Ash Mods too. Raising Kelpie? Sacrifice it to put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its own library? Oh, so I can like, get a card back. And it has Persist. When it dies, it comes back with a minus one, minus one counter. So it can, like, die and come back for a little bit. Okay. Um. 2 1 Flyer. I'm gonna take him out, because I have no. I do have green creatures. But they're very minor. So I don't want to pay 5 mana for what's most likely going to be a 3-3. Three, three. That's not very good. 6 mana for a 5-3 honestly is more reasonable. And thinning my deck so it's smaller makes it a little more consistent in the cards I want to draw. Uh, Pearl Unicorn, a 2-2 two, two for 3. Sure. Defender, Flying Bird, Trained Karkle. Wall of Resistance... Uh, we'll take out the stalwart shield bearers. Don't, don't really need walls. Having spells that make you not die is not the same as having spells that make you win. And you want stuff that makes you win. Uh, I want to take out more, more cards here. Is there like a sort option? Oh, uh, sort. Uh, this kind of sorted by color. Duh. All right. Well, sucks. Oh, here's my, one of my rares. 
Yeah, the 3 4 flyer with Shroud. Not bad. I could just take out the green creature. I don't think I want to do that, though. Whenever I sacrifice a glue, put the top three cards of his or library in his or graveyard. So this lets me mill for three, and milling is now a thing, thanks to new 2020 uh, playsets. I actually call it mill. Uh, I don't really need a Shuko. I also need like any kind of power I can get in this deck, because it is it's not good. Uh, I think I'll give her the Essence Flare, too. I'm not crazy about that. Um, provoking Miss Power and Toughness equals the number of illusions on the battlefield. And he is an il illusion creature, which is one. Do I have any other illusions? There's one. There's another one, so that's two. Duh. And that's it. So at best, he's a 2 2. Unless the opponent has illusions, you're not worth it. All right, there we go. I'm down to 40 cards. That could help. I'm going to still be short on lands. That's looking better. Uh, world magic. Risk one black amulet to adjust your deck outdoors. Yes, normally you can only change your deck while in town, but you can get like these magical artifacts that allow you to change that. Uh, hi. Witch. That is Doer. My teller of tales for your Millennial Gargoyle. I will play first. Alright, Plains Plains. Snow Covered Swamp. I have the Moonlight Geist. Ashuko. I got enough to play that I can keep the hand. Okay, so start off the Plains. And... Can cast Ashuko right away. Now whenever I get a creature out, I can give him a... Crypt this onto him. Uh, yep, just the Swamp. Oh, so I should also talk again for newer p players. Uh, to play cards from your hand, you need to use lands to give you different colored mana, which is different mana sources, uh, which you can see here. Like Swamp gives you a black, Plains gives you a white, and to cast cards, they all have different costs in the upper right. So if you look at Moonlight Geist, there's that one little sun symbol. That's a white mana, so I need at least one white mana to cast this, and the two next to it just means... Two of anything else. It could be any color. So to cast this, I need two and a white. So there's a white and two more. Which allows me to summon a 2-1. Uh, and this costs zero to equip. So I can actually equip that onto the Geist right away. So now I've got a 3-1 flyer. And he casts Defigure to give it minus two, minus two. And since he's got one toughness, he'll die. And because he cast a black spell, he can pay one to gain a life. These opponents are way better than they were in the original game. And now he's got regenerating skeletons. Um. Freezing Kelpie? Make a 2 3. Oh, wait, get this. 3 3. Not bad. Don't cast any bullshit. Wall of Bone, it's a 1 4 wall, so it can't attack and it can regenerate. Gains life off of it. So getting past that Wall of Bone is going to be very difficult. Island. Um, really can't attack in right now, so I guess it's kind of chill. Scavenging ghoul. It's gaining life off that throne of bone like you wouldn't believe. Another grazing kelpie. Not super exciting. Go. <laughs> Might be at a standstill for a while. Greed. That's from Legacy. Pay two life, draw a card. That's really good. And with how much life he's getting off throwing a bone. Wait, hold on. Oh, your max life is 10. It's not going to let you go above your max. Oh, that's fun. Still, you can activate this to draw a card and gain life back with any black spell you're casting. And you're a witch, so all you have is black. Uh, just kidding. You know, it's kind of amazing for having a deck with only 14 lands that I'm flooding out. Yep, activates that to draw a card. Uh, you also have Shuko. Equips it to a scavenger ghoul to make it into a 3-2 regenerate. Everything regenerates. Just everything. Which means if I kill it, they can just come right back. Gavany Iron Right? It's a 1-4. As long as you have 5 or less life, other creatures you control get plus 1, plus 4? Interesting. So if I let myself get low on life, uh, it pumps up all my other creatures by a lot. 
Plus four toughness is a lot. Activates greed twice. Goes down to four life, but draws a bunch of cards. Plays a clay statue, which regenerates. I get I get the, uh, the trick of your deck. Everything regenerates. Oh, even Fisher. Two two flyer. I can get he's got nothing but flying. So I can get past him. Wait, no, the Will o Wisp. Fuck. God damn it. Tap four mana. Play him. I gotta find a way past that Will of the Wisp, and I don't know if I can. Um, do I have anything in my deck that would even do that? Oh, you're attacking with your clay statue. Okay. Um, it's a 4 1 that can regenerate. If I block with anything, it just dies. These do have persist, but that, that can just regenerate. I'd rather take the damage, because then I might be able to. Let Gavany Iron Right pop up all my creatures so I get better blocks. Diabolic Machine. Hey, look, it regenerates. Uh, Zephyr, 3 4 Flyer, that's perfect. I caught, it takes two blue mana. I've only got one island right now. I need another island. That's not good. That's not good. I'm going to put Inviolability, which prevents all damage. Dealt to my enchanted creature on my. If I put on the even Fisher, no, I don't want that. Because that if he dies, I get to draw a card. I kind of want that. Uh, where would he be good? On the Gavin Iron, right? Maybe. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And then let's actually move Shuko over onto him. Reason I'm doing that is because now, if he attacks with anything, I have something I can safely block with. As such. So I can go here. I guess force him to spend some mana by making him regenerate the clay statue. This will bring me down to three and I'll pump up all my other creatures. Yep, she pays the mana to regenerate it, plays another will o wisp Which is familiar. Activates the throne of bone to gain life off a of spell cast. Well, I'm at three, so look how beefy all my dudes are. I think I just kind of die here. Oh, there's the island! Rawr! Boom. It's a 4-8. Um, I can't really attack, though, because they have two flyers that can regenerate. Oh, wait, do you the mana for that? They cost one black. You've only got one swamp available. If I were to attack now... You could attack back with one, two. No, sorry. You could attack back with one, two, three, four, five creatures. Can I block in such a way that I wouldn't die to that? With three defenders? Oh, okay, okay. We're not thinking cap. No, oh, he's got summoning sickness. I can't even attack right now. Doesn't matter. Maybe next. Ah, damn it. That would have been, been the dream. Just, just get in there before you regenerate. Uh oh. More flyers? I also have a fucking chance. Squadron Hawk. When I enter the battlefield, you may search your library for up to three additional squadron ha hawks. I think I only got one. Trigger. Is there any? Nope. Oh, this does give me a chance to look at my deck and see what I have left to win with. Errant Doom Slayers could help. Easter Glider, Thriving Turtle, Scrapskin Drake. Okay, I actually have a fair amount of flyers left. And if I can get any of them, that's how I win. Because he's only got four life. No cards left in his hand. He's only drawn land. Island. Damn it. Stupid little wisps regenerate. He's got three flyers because he got that millennial gargoyle out. Sucks a lot for me. <sighs> um, Ashen skin Zubera. When he dies, target opponent discards a card for each Zubera that died this turn. Are you not 
paying the mana to do that? I guess not. Oh, now he's activating greed on my turn to get a card. Disfigures the grazing kelpie. Okay. That was a lot of nothing. I'm just going to cast this 5-3. Ooh, who gets pumped up thanks to the Gavin the Iron Rite. So my 5-3 is now a 6-7. Okay. Here's, here's the plan. He's at 2 life, right? That means I only need one flying attacker to get in to deal 2 damage. Which means I just need to get past what? Let's move some of these around. Uh, how many flyers? One, two, three. You have three flyers. I have three flyers. I just need to draw any one of my other flying creatures. Not that. Literally any other flying creature is all I need. Oh, actually this works too. The errant doomsayers, his ability allows him to tap himself to tap one of their creatures. So I can actually use that to tap one of their creatures, and when the creature's tapped, it can't block. And if you can't block, that means I can get in there for lethal. Let's try that. All right, uh, Errant Doomsayers, we're gonna tap down their stupid regenerator. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna move you out of the way. Let's equip. The Shuko will run to the Squadron Hawk just to give him an extra point of damage, just in case. He still have one card in his hand. That's concerning. Enter combat. I attack with all my flyers. Is that right? One, two, three, four. I accidentally closed the attack window, so I don't know what's happening anymore. Because Chandelar is a well-programmed thing for modern-day systems. Oh, please. Oh, I got in there! Okay. Sorry, I closed the window. I had enough attackers to get in. Alright! Already up to a stressful battle in the first one. Okay, so if I... When I defeat her, I can either take the Millennial Gargoyle and the Discordant Dirge, which looks like an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may put a verse counter on it. And then you can sacrifice this. Look at your opponent's hand, choose up to X cards from it, or X is the number of verse card counters on it, and discard those many cards. I do like hand hate and just taking cards out of the hand, but at five mana, uh, by the time I have this out, his hands are going to be pretty close to empty, and it's not that helpful. Or I could take this dungeon clue, which can help me find a time vault, a mox jet, and a fast bond, which are some of the best cards ever made in magic. So give me a clue about that. One deck for all duels. Life loss is carried over in Orcish Aura Flame permanently in effect. Okay. I'm gonna go back to town because that was a stressful battle. All right. We're back in it, baby. Back in the Magic the Gathering. How excited for you are this? Please tell me in the comments. I hope people are gonna enjoy this as much as uh, the last time I played this game because I'm super hyped for it. Uh, let me know what you want to see. If there's any particular cards that you're excited for me to discover, there's tons of them in there. And then of course, if you haven't checked out the other, please, please check out the other Magic the Gathering Chandelar series. And as always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time.